All right, let me just give it a good savoru here. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? So, there's basically, if you do like these two, I guess, it's like you, the Council dies, which is the default choice in Mass Effect 2. Um, and 3, I guess, if you didn't make a new save. So we're actually going to save them just to see the interesting shit that happens when the Council's still alive. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. Assuming direct control. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. Alright. Hey, what's up? What? Oh, I'm overheated, you son of a bitch. Nobody does that to my glad. And why, why can't I use pistol? Apparently, I'm not allowed to use pistol. Alright, let's use immunity again. The more important thing. Fucking hell. Okay, every time he hits me with that, it's like an overheat beam. No, it's not actually. He just kind of uses it randomly. As long as you don't touch my immunity. Oh god, he's so fast, I can't even hit him, guys. Maybe, maybe I sh this is actually the first time I've ever had to actually take cover for a fucking 
Any attack. Let's use the nice little good old health back. I oh, know my health back's on cooldown. The fuck? Why is my health back on cooldown? Okay, maybe I shouldn't tank through this. Fuck you, sovereign. Uh, let's use uh, let's use like all of my abilities. The fuck, Saren, man. Figured it was only fitting that we do the final boss fight with the sniper rifle. Oh, good. It's the sniper is gonna overheat next shot. Look at that. Might as well let it. down no matter what the cost. Hello, immunity. Also, I could also just use my shields to regenerate. The hell, Sovereign, or Saren. Fuck. So biotic that Blood asshole. Shields. Probably should just unity her back up. Might as well. Where do you go? I don't even know where he went. The title of this episode is obviously I've lost shields. Like, I'm not even trying to take cover. Is this, what's the fucking point? It's like lost shields. this guy. Oh, Rex actually died. Do we have anything against- oh no, it's just me versus him. I always knew it would come down to this. Because my worthless teammates were going to die. Fuck it, let's just pistol him to death. Oh, I'm actually crouching, I'm not even walking around. This guy just circles strafe around and, and, and like, circles. That's, that's the definition of circle strafing. Don't worry, Unity's almost up. Now have these mines. Worthless fucking mines, though. As soon as Unity's up, I'm gonna bring my teammates back up. Unity should be coming up any second now. We use that, alright, Unity. And give him a good old healer roof. Now we can pause this game at any time by pressing spacebar. Remember when games used to be difficult? Yeah. But that that was like three parts ago. That's before we discovered unlimited immunity. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to punch Sharon. Infiltrator. Fine, we'll finish him off with a sniper rifle. Oh, I missed. Alright, one shot that saved the universe. Let's go, one shot to save the universe. Fuck, he's too evasive. 
That was the one shot. There we go. Okay, that was the one shot. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Immunity is overpowered. Look at that smile, he fucking goes. Ambassador? Captain? Commander Shepard? We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. By defeating Sovereign, you have saved billions of lives. You have the courage of your convictions and a ruthless determination to succeed. Through your actions, you have become a symbol of everything humanity represents. Your species has an indomitable will, a fierce, savage spirit that will not bend or yield. We used to believe this made humans stubborn, even dangerous. But now we understand that these traits are what make you strong. There are dark times ahead. The Council needs humanity and its strength. As the Alliance Ambassador, I accept your offer. Humanity will join its strength to yours. We will take our seat on the Council. We will need a list of potential candidates. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Uh, so Dina is the default, and if you don't like choose anything I think and as well as like if you start a new save in Mass Effect 2 without importing a save so obviously he's a dickhead so we're gonna do Anderson we need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in someone like Captain Anderson him 
<laughs> you must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'd rather have the captain on the council than any politician I know. The shadow of war darkens our future. Selecting someone with military experience is a wise choice. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. The battle with Sovereign destroyed our illusions of peace and security. Now the galaxy will look to us, the Council, to defend them. Sovereign alone nearly wiped you out. You won't stand a chance if the whole Reaper fleet shows up. Not unless I find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're on the verge of a war with an enemy unlike any the galaxy has ever known. A war for the very survival of all life as we know it. Humanity is ready to do its part. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will lead you into battle against the Reapers, and we will drive them back into dark space. There you go, the renegade ending. Just some random planet, it's all red. Red and blue. That's our colors. Alright, welcome to the end. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, glad I went through it again. I won't, I won't lie. Because I've had a bit of a, I guess, a higher, um, I, like, I haven't played it in such a long time. La last, as I said the, from the beginning, the last time I played it was when I did it originally for YouTube back in fucking, well, the first things I did on YouTube, like, ten fucking years ago or something. So, I've always had sort of a high issue ping, and I've always been like, oh, I like Mass Effect 2 over Mass Effect 1 kind of thing, and kind of, that kind of bullshit and whatever. I, I mean, I haven't gotten to Mass Effect 2, uh, yet, so let's, let's... Let's not, let's not start comparing them yet. We're going to compare it all right at the very end uh, of all the three uh, that we're going to do. Uh, when we're going to start that, I don't know. Uh, probably relatively soon, but we'll see. But uh, now this is completely fresh on my mind. It's, it's, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, I mean, here's, here's the stuff that I like and the, the, the kind of like the, the reason why I always had kind of like a high shipping. And I did like the sniper action of it, like... The fact that you had unlimited ammo for it, um, it was fun in that way because it's just like you get to snipe as much as you want, and you know me, I'm fucking like, I just like, I, I like using it. So, but in in practice, you can see how maybe there was a problem with that kind of part of the game design, which is why they decided later to add actual ammo, ammo limitations. Because it's like, why would you use the pistol at close range when we could just use a sniper? I mean, I just stopped using this, the pistol altogether at some point because I just didn't see a point um, until until the sovereign or whatever was like leaping around my screen. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. It's easier to hit him this way. I mean, that's the only good reason for it, I guess. Um, so, I mean, I I think the combat was okay, uh, all things considered. Uh, um, you do have some of those, like interesting abilities. You know, like the biotic stuff, you got the tech stuff. Tech stuff isn't as good as I, I would think. The grenades, I don't think, were particularly useful. Uh, they're not that, they're not game changing, in my opinion. Uh, and like the hacking was kind of nice, but not a game changing. The biotic stuff was game changing, though, I would say. Um, I mean, overload was like a minor debuff. Like, tech was mostly about debuffs, I'd say. Um, looking back now. But like it was all like it was all okay. Um, yeah, I, I would never play Soldier in this. I would play like Sentinel or maybe Vanguard or something. Uh, but I do like Infiltrator a lot. Uh, so talking about the Infiltrator stuff, holy shit! Fucking immunity is so overpowered. What the fuck? Like I have never known that in this game how overpowered that shit is. Um, it's actually to the point where. 
if I ever played this again, fuck, I don't think I'd play Infiltrator again. I'd feel bad or just not level it or something to make it challenging. Because it's, it's literally invulnerability. That's fucking stupid. That's so broken. Or mod it to balance it or something. Because uh, that was so dumb. Holy shit. The minute I figured that out, I was like, fucking hell. Anyways, that, there's that. So thank you for ruining the game for me in that sense. Uh, <laughs> the people who suggested it. Um, I, I just remember some guy who was on the, 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 the shield train at the beginning. He's like, you need to get overload for your shield zone. I, I kind of just did it. Because like, I, I, I don't remember anything in this game. Like, I just I, I kind of go by it. But now now I'm going to look back at this and I'm just going to think of myself. Fucking immunity, man. That's so overpowered. I mean, I you see it on other enemies, and sorry, like the, the, the things that you're fighting against, and it's really overpowered then too, because it's like, well, this Krogan used immunity, I can't really kill him. But it's like, you know, it's used on your, you use it on yourself with no cooldown. It's like, oh wait, I can't die anymore. So, I mean, glad they fixed that at least later. Um, I'm very happy I did play this with uh, some speed up keys, um, like mainly the Mako parts and the uh, uh, sprinting went out of combat. Because holy shit, you guys have to remember, this would be at least like 20 parts longer, I can guarantee you, if, if I did not have those. Because holy shit, they expect you to basically go around on the Mako at like normal speed there and fucking walk everywhere and shit, it's so dumb. Um, there's a lot in this game that just kind of prolonged it, like things like that. It's really bad in that sense, so... Uh, I, You guys, if you want that shit, you just look it up on you, on uh, Google. It's uh, like, I just looked up Mass Effect 1, how to like speed up game and stuff. And I found those two solutions. So I kind of just jerry-rigged it into my configuration and that was it. Um, so that was it. Like one of them is like, middle mouse speeds up the entire game, but then it skips dialogue. And then another guy had a, another solution on the same page, which is basically like rebound your sprint key to um, to allow you to sprint outside of combat as well. But if you guys remember when I actually attempted that, it didn't let me sprint in combat anymore. So I just kind of like, as I said, I just made alt into like my my sprinting out of combat key and, and shift the, the regular sprinting, which actually worked out really well. It was actually probably very, uh, the best the best way. Because it, it kept the most kind of vanilla experience, um, and I was just able to kind of speed through a lot of the game that was kind of bullshitty, you know. So I'm very happy I did that. As I said, I'm trying to make these into relatively vanilla runs. I've already have a couple of people suggesting some shit for Mass Effect 2, um, and I guess like I'm going to definitely post this before I start anything Mass Effect 2 related, so... I mean, if you guys have anything you want to see before I start it, hey, here's your chance. Uh, in particular, uh, someone said that the cooldowns are global for that game. Like, you use one ability, it's a cooldown, and everything's on cooldown, which, and apparently that's not really a well-liked uh, feature of it. Um, and so there's a mod that removes that, and so you can use things however you like without cool. With, well, they have cooldowns, but they're individual cooldowns rather than global cooldowns. So I'll probably put that in. I don't know what you guys think about that. Like, whatever, give me feedback on whatever you want. Uh, obviously, any kind of visual mods I'll also put in and, and uh, DLCs or whatever. Uh, and if there's anything you want me to kind of run through, uh, like really want me to do in that game, yeah, sure, go suggest it as well. Because uh, we're going to start that eventually. Um, so this is supposed to be mostly a renegade run, but I ended up being... Mother Teresa most of the time because of the fact I want to keep people alive and keep um, plot points interesting because like it, I'm in this weird kind of a situation where I want to do a renegade run however I want to also make things interesting in the later parts of the game uh, well sorry later parts of the other games I should say uh, and so the problem becomes like because if you start up a new Mass Effect 2 and new Mass Effect 3 saves uh, which I did both times. I didn't. I never used a previous save. You've never seen me do Mass Effect 3, by the way. I've never done that on YouTube. Um, but anyways, so yeah, if you start up new saves, uh, it will assume you did mostly a Renegade run. Uh, and that's the default choices, so you basically, you kill the council, you kill Rex. Like, who the fuck kills Rex, honestly? Yeah, so you kill Rex, um, like, and you kill the Arachnite Queen, you do all that stuff. 
Uh, that's that's just the default choices it makes for you. And so I wanted it to be a run where, like, if especially if you've seen those games before or you've played through them, I want to, I want it to be one where I did everything different. Like I did everything. I guess good finger quotes uh, in a way, like the things that would you know change the later parts of the game that you wouldn't be able to see, um, all except for punching the reporter. Obviously, we got to do that. Um, yeah, there, there's this again. Um, so yeah, there's that. I still have more to talk about, uh, talk about though. Uh, so that's why I did it that way. So it ended up being a weird run, but I was luckily able to do most of the Renegade stuff that I wanted to do. So it was fun because uh, I like playing these games in a Renegade way. Trust me, like, when we get into the later uh, games, we'll do more actual Renegade stuff <laughs> rather than, like, the stupid shit I was doing here where it was like, yeah, let's not kill the queen and not kill the person that was in the fucking Vermeer base and whatever. Um, so, I mean, I had to constantly look up if they, it, it mattered if they lived or died late, for later, and I'll still have to sort of do that for 2 and 3, but it won't matter as much, uh, per se. So... Yeah, this game has a new game plus, so if I wanted to, I can I can keep going with the, the other save I have. But I'm not going to do that, so... Uh, yeah, let me just get out of this, actually, because I don't want to... Yeah. How about, how about... No. Okay, so yeah, we're going to just leave that off at that. The last thing I was going to talk about was uh, mostly the DLCs for this game and the... Um, uh, what's my call it? Fucking side missions. All right. So we had Bring Down the Sky and Pinnacle Station as DLCs, which I installed. Uh, Pinnacle Station was extremely fucking annoying, so I didn't do it. Um, yeah. I just decided that fuck that shit, even though some people were encouraging me to try it out again. It was way too annoying. I'm sorry I'm not grinding through that, <laughs> so I didn't do it. Um, sorry, but if you want to see it, but I just I, I decided that... I think I think we did enough. Uh, the side missions were also particularly bad because they were very repetitive, extremely repetitive. Like it was just a bunch of enemies in the moon base. Layout. Like they had like two layouts. They had like the one layout with like the big, like the basically the only thing that would change is like the crates would change, but the level architecture was always the same. It was really super bad. Um, they got the side missions to go much better for the later games, but holy shit. It's bad. Yeah, so... There's that. <laughs> uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't good, let me just tell you. Um, I, I was getting so bored with it. Uh, like, halfway through it, uh, if you could tell. So I just wanted to get back to the main missions, and I did. Um, and that was fun. So, like, uh, it was so... Uh, the Mako and the planet stuff, I've never, like, I've I honestly, like, I've, I've realized now I've never actually done a run of this game with, like, um, I, I didn't really talk to the characters all, like, as much as I did here, and I certainly didn't do as many side missions, because I would have fucking remembered all this, and the Mako and shit. Oh, dear God, the Mako. Uh, I can, I can see why they removed it. I was never, I was never kind of like one of those purists that would go like, oh, when are they going to bring Mako combat back in? I think they did something for that, I don't know, I don't remember, but... They removed it, and I can see why. It was pretty fucking terrible. It was pretty bad. Um, anything, not not anything maker related is, is exploring the planets. And so when they removed the exploring of planets like that, because it wasn't that fun or interesting, it was there. To, as I said, it was there just to prolong the game. It kept it. It made it much longer. The minute they removed that, uh, suddenly uh, the need for the Mako just completely disappears. We don't need a Mako anymore. We might as well just do all the fun ground combat stuff. So. I can see why now they removed it in the later games. Uh, probably, probably a good choice. Probably a good choice. But yeah, the side missions are just fucking awful, and the exploration of the planets was actually not too, not so great either. So it was slow, and it, and the maker controlled like ass. Uh, honestly, it probably would have been better if the planets were like flatter. But no, they're not flatter. They're just fucking like hilly as fuck. So. Uh, anyways, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna peace out, guys, so, yeah, just, uh, you know, whatever, give me suggestions or, um, I don't know, complain about things I did or whatever in the comments, and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we do for number two, so, or if I want to even do it next, I'll see. Um, I get a Factorio addiction to get over a fucking piece of shit. The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. 
Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. <laughs>